My name is Candy LaFleur. My husband and I have been partners with KCM for the past 33 years, and I am a part of the worship team with Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Well, it was right uh, the Saturday before Christmas, and in the middle of the night, I, something popped in my ear, and the pain was so severe that uh, we had to get up and go to the emergency room at the hospital. They said, oh, you have an ear infection. And so I took the antibiotics for about five days until it was all completed, but there was no improvement. And so we went back to the hospital. He examined my ear and he did several different tests and different things. And so then he came back and he said, well, the problem is this. He said, you have an inner and an outer ear infection and that you also have a hole in your eardrum. And he said, you'll need surgery for that. And he said, and your hearing may come back, because I had completely lost all of my hearing in my left ear. And I said to him, well, I'll, I'll do the medicine, I'll do the treatments, and I'll let you know about the surgery. And the first thing that I said to my husband when he asked me what's going on, I said, well, I'm healed. And so because we live by faith and we pour faith in constantly, you don't plan a, to have to go through a trial. You don't plan to have to walk out a healing. But if you have to, and you've been putting faith in, it will automatically flow out. And so because I've been putting faith in, that was just a natural reaction from my spirit, it said, you're healed. Immediately in prayer, when the Lord told me to not have the surgery, he said, anytime the pain hits you, anytime you think about it, I want you to say that my hearing will return completely and that the whole is completely healed. And I thought this was so interesting because the Holy Spirit said, tell the doctor that when you come back to the, see him in August, the hole will be completely gone. I told him that and he, he said, he said, now listen here, lady, you need to have surgery. He said, if you don't get surgery on the eardrum, on the hole, he said, it's going to begin to affect your other ear and you'll completely lose your hearing altogether. And I just said, well, I hear what you're saying, but I'm going to wait. He said, well, you can't travel. And the minister's conference was coming up and I thought, well, I'm going to the minister's conference. <laughs> and I was standing on stage and singing and the, the music was playing. I could hear it just a little bit above a whisper. I was thinking throughout that song, Lord, I thank you that we're walking this thing out by faith. But I knew the enemy's not going to steal what you've given to me. On that Thursday, there was a healing night service with Brother Copeland and also Brother Richard Roberts. And so it was all the way towards the end of the service. And Brother Copeland says, hearing, hearing loss, eardrum, hole in the ear. And I said, that's it. I know I, I, the fullness of it. I got it. I took the hearing test and they said, no, you're, you only have like 10% hearing in your right ear and you have nothing in the left ear. And so on the outside, it may seem like there's no change, but the Word of God says things are changing at the root base of your situation. And my body was being healed from the root base. And so I was walking out the manifestation. We were in Sacramento doing a conference, and I was singing the offering special. And in the middle of that song, my ears popped open. And I'm standing on that stage saying, oh my God, glory to God. I'm just thanking God. And, and as soon as I finished the song, Brother Copeland begins to prophesy to me about what God had called me to do in the music ministry. And he had no idea what I had been walking through. Right after I came back from that trip, I had enough of doctor's appointment. And I'm like, this is it. I got my hearing. I know the hole is gone. And went back. The doctor said, how are you doing? I said, I'm doing great. I can hear everything. He said, okay, well then let's check and see about the hole. And he said, no, the hole's still there. He said, you're gonna need surgery. But you know, you can't change just because you can't see it. 
You, when you see it in here, God seals it. And so, went to Southwest. And it was the Monday after we came back from Southwest. I actually had forgotten I had the appointment. The doctor came in, he said, okay, well, we need to run tests. And, and so he came, he said, I need to run another test. And I said, oh, <laughs> this thing is done. I know it's done. He said, no, let me, let me run one more test. And so then he, after the third test, he came back and he said, well, I guess you don't need surgery. I jumped up out of that chair. I didn't care whether he was Pentecostal, if he was Catholic, I didn't care if he was an atheist. I didn't care what he thought. I jumped up out of that chair and I just began to dance saying, glory to God, glory to God. And I said, doctor, I told you Jesus is a healer. Jesus is my healer. I said, it's August, the hearing is completely back and the hole is completely healed and Jesus is completely faithful. And <laughs> 